So, Dan Snyder has finally sold the Washington Commanders for $6 billion to, an, to a group led by Philadelphia 76ers co-owner Josh Harris. I have some thoughts on this sale. Evan, I'll let you go first. Pause. Wait. What did Hawk Harrelson, legendary White Sox broadcaster, say? He gone. He gone. Dan Snyder is out of here. He finally sold the team after so much pressure. Um, you know, it's really bad whenever you go on Wikipedia, Wikipedia and you have a controversy page like you know, you have these famous people and it says controversy. Well, his page is so long, I got bored of reading it. It's just so long. And where do we start? We'll start very mildly. He caved like a little weasel when it came to the Redskins approach. He's like, I'm not going to change the name. I'm not going to change the name. All these in indi- Okay, let's be fair here for a second. If you actually wanted to change the name, wouldn't you do it when the uh, indigenous groups came to you? Indigenous groups have been coming to them about the name forever. And again, you can have that opinion if you think the name Redskins was racist or not, but they've been coming to him forever. The reason he caved like a little weasel is because, of course, after the George Floyd things, but because Nike said, we're going to pull. He caved because of Nike. He doesn't care about any of the indigenous groups. So again, it doesn't matter your position. It just matters he handled that like a little weasel. And that's on the light ends of things. On the heavier ends of things, back about a decade ago, he pimped out all of his cheerleaders. I'm not going to go too far into depth on that, but you can look it up. He did terrible things with that. Workplace culture in 2020, 40 women came forward with investigations. They've said stuff into him. This is not like, this is not by accident. This guy is a terrible person and um, that's been proven and nobody likes him. Nobody liked him in the workplace. On the team side of it, the team sucks. They're a joke. They've been terrible. He's been owner for like 20 something years. The, you know, when they were the Redskins, they were winning Super Bowls. They won two or three. I don't remember the exact number, but they were a really good team in the 90s. And ever since he took over, they're one of the jokes of the NFL. They're terrible. Nobody goes that game. The stadium is another thing that happened under Snyder. The stadium is an absolute dump. People laugh at it. It had the highest capacity. They had to get rid of so much seats because nobody comes. And if you people do come, it's just Eagles and Giants fans whenever they come. It's filled in the lower bowl. Nobody watches the game. They don't have a culture. They tried to get a culture with this commander's thing. We'll see how that goes. And then another thing that really stuck out with me is RG3. Specifically, when they traded for RG3 all those years back, they traded three first, but then did absolutely nothing to build him up. They destroyed RG3's career. And I, I won't forgive them for that because RG3 was a very excited player. And I wanted to see him develop in the NFL. Yes, he was running a lot. Woody eventually got injured. We don't know that. You got guys like Cam Newton who still lasted a decade. So we don't know that. RG3 got a year because these buffoons didn't know how to manage a team. So that's pretty much what happened. And usually if you're a billionaire, I'm not I'm not one of those people who are going to say, oh, all billionaires are bad. I don't think so. I do think it's a little ridiculous that some people have $10 billion and other people are sleeping on the streets. I do think that's a little ridiculous. But you know what? If you made your way up, that's fine. But I wouldn't call any billionaire a saint either. They had to have made their way up there somehow. Um, you can you you can say they're not a bad person, but I highly doubt they're a saint. But to have all this horrible stuff stick out, no, Daniel Snyder is truly a terrible person. And uh, this is good. And we can get into a little more specifics about what's coming for the Washington Commanders. But Jake, let me get your thoughts first. Yeah, I mean, man, the Washington Commanders were just a joke of a franchise. Um, they've been the joke of the NFL since he's taking over. Um, one thing that really sticks out to me is you mentioned the cheerleaders. I mean, that was just a horrible thing to do. But also what sticks out to me is the way they honored Sean Taylor's family, the way oh, they yeah. honored him. I mean, wh- what some was of that? our viewers now what? might some of our viewers might not know what you mean. Explain a little bit about that. Yeah. I mean, we will link so down below if we can find it. But, like, they tried to build a statue, but that was not a statue. What was that? I mean, right. you know. The, the, the whole PR tour back in last year with the commanders, oh, we're we're so changed. We got rid of that racist name. Like, you guys aren't changed. Your culture is still terrible. But you know. Sean Taylor was a beast at football, and he gets out better than that. that too, yeah. No, I, I forgot about the Sean Taylor thing. I forgot about that. Daniel Snyder should be ashamed for that. 
Here's the thing, though, because you live in Washington. Let's get a little more positive now. You live in Washington. That's a pretty big sports market. You're by New York. You're by Philadelphia. You're in the NFC East, um, you know, with the Cowboys, too. Uh, there's promise there. It's not like you're Jacksonville or something, you know. There's promise to yeah. build something there. But Daniel Snyder has destroyed the reputation. You said Jacksonville because I'm willing to. Jacksonville. Yeah. No, I just said Jacksonville because they're kind of a godless <laughs> franchise. But that too, yeah. Um, but <laughs> – I think there's hope that you got to get a sports minded owner in there. It doesn't have to be the hometown kid. It doesn't have to be, it just needs someone to write the ship. I do think there's actually hope to turn this around. It's not going to turn that around right away, but I kind of do think Washington, if they get a sports minded owner, it's happened before um, San Francisco 49ers a while back, I think is a good example of that, that they could turn it around. Do you, do you think there's any turnaround possibility in Washington? Yeah. I mean, there's some hope in Washington. They, Got an owner that's hopefully, you know, as you mentioned, a um, sports-minded coach. You know, Josh Harris, he owns the 76ers, and the 76ers are going pretty good. So, hopefully, you know, the commanders were stuck yeah. good pretty good. You know, get a quarterback, build around a quarterback. Um, maybe Michael Penix Jr. next year. May, uh, maybe Bo Nix. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but maybe, you know, they get a quarterback. Maybe they build around them. Maybe they build a wing and flank. No, guys. I'm just we'll so glad happens. because most people, when you think of NFL owners, they're like, oh, my gosh, Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones said this. Jerry Jones was in a rally back in the 50s. And meanwhile, you got terrible guys like this, Daniel Snyder, getting covered up because all the attention's on Jerry Jones. So, no, this is a great day for the NFL. Um, I'm glad he finally got pressure to sell. Yeah, I'm glad he finally – I'm glad Washington finally got him out.